Hello, the Quinn Show here. No, it's been a very long time since I've made a video, but uh, I want to make sure I'm saying his name right. Let me find. Gatos Pro or Gatos Pro or Gatos Pro. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Uh, posted a video on YouTube about a self-repairing bridge in Minecraft and. Uh, a friend of mine posted it on Facebook or somewhere and was talking about how cool it was and it was very funny to me because I had just made one earlier in the day so I um, took a look at Gaitis's, um video about how to make one and I uh, had pretty much the same idea I wanted to show my version and uh, to I can uh, show you how it works after I just want to show you what what it hap what it does whenever something blows up here let me this is how he did his now uh, if you've seen the original video you'll notice that mine all four rows are pushing at the same time whereas his it would progressively work from the right side over to the left and it happened like that for his because um, he only had a one block cobblestone factory whereas mine has four it has a cobblestone factory for all four blocks let me see if I can open this up without destroying it yeah as you can see sort of from here um, this is four blocks wide. It's got water on all four of those, and then underneath here is the lava that goes all the way across. So every block makes its own cobblestone. So there's actual there's actually four blocks being made at a time instead of one being made. And I also do it differently. His was all horizontal. His was all on the same plane. So uh, his method, basically you would pretend that these were the cobblestone blocks and you'd have a piston pushing these over this way and then these pistons would push over there. Well, for my method to work, having four individual uh, factories, if that's what you want to call them, uh, you have to have it go up. Or you could do down, but up is usually better if you're making a bridge. So. Um, let me turn it off real quick and I'll uh, destroy most of this. I'm using single player commands and I have instant mine turned on, which is just uh, kind of like creative mode. And that's also how I'm flying right now. Okay, so the uh, entire bridge is pretty much dead. This is technically is part of the bridge also. So let me get over here and I'll fire it up quick. So you see all four rows make a layer of cobblestone and then push it up and then on another delay And the entire bridge is already remade. It's cool to just do this too and watch it just fix itself right away. Which is like he was saying, it's uh, having the circuit constantly on. I'm also using a five, five clock. Um, instead of how uh, the original maker did his um, delay. Instead of um, routing the output to a different section of the clock, I just uh, delayed the output from the same section. So um, this entire section right here is where the output is. Um, coming from right here, it goes uh, to the bottom row, which is the first in the sequence. And then um, once it gets to this up here, I have another delay that's maxed out. So it goes from uh, no delay. There's no delay on those repeaters. I just have them there no delay here um, and then this is a maxed one here so you'll get however long that tick is in between the first set of pistons firing and the second set firing and then I just I don't really know why I covered it up 
but I just did it look nice. And draw flying oak rick. This would be a simulated bridge to a house or whatever. Um, I did this on a larger scale earlier. I had a instead of four wide, I had fifteen, and um, it went the full thirteen blocks also that it could go. And uh, then I had another one on the other side, so it was actually. 26 blocks long instead of this is I think 13 long whenever you count the stairs so it's a fairly good method um, I think eventually what I want to do is make um, a spleef arena uh, I've never actually played spleef I've only seen it played before but you could essentially do the same thing um, you could have the entire uh, circuit turned off and play the game and then just activate the circuit and it would repair itself. The only thing is, uh, I think a lot of times Spleef is played with glass because it breaks so easily, so the only thing you'd have to do for that is either have a command like Instant Mine, which is what I'm using right now, on, or you'd have to be using Diamond Picks or something. So, But anyway, I just wanted to show my method and I thought it was very interesting that we both had very similar ideas. Um, Gatos Pro's method was a little bit more uh, efficient for if you were doing like a like a serious build, not like I'm using uh, too many items mod, so I have unlimited everything. Um, but if you were actually playing the game and gathering all your own uh, resources and stuff, his method would actually be more efficient uh, as far as material cost goes, but mine is... Uh, faster at repairing. So, just wanted to share that. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be sure to uh, link to Gatos Pro's original video, too. I'll put, the, I'll put this as a video response to his if I can. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.